okay fine so next one input resistance so you know as per ohm's law resistance is given by voltage by current r is equal to v by i so input resistance means you have to see the input side input side what is the voltage vi what is the current ib so you should not consider the source while finding the input resistance input resistance means you have to find input resistance at the input of your transistor okay excluding the source resistance so uh, one simple thing what we used to do to find the input resistance we will hide this source so whatever the source is there you hide it with your hand so if you hide that the confusion will be gone so remaining only one input is there at the input it is uh, vi and the current is ib so ri is equal to vi plus ib so vi by ib ri is equal to vi by ib which is going to be the ohms law and for finding vi i will be applying kvl at the input side now you have a loop here right so i'll be applying kvl so the total voltage the total input voltage will be split across hie plus this resistance okay the current through this uh, hie is ib so hie into ib plus current through this resistance is 1 plus hfp ib into re so ib and ib is common right so i can take that out so hie plus 1 plus hfp into re into ib by ib ib and ib will get cancelled so the input resistance is ri is equal to hie plus 1 plus hfp into re is it clear i again say input resistance whenever you hear this term input resistance it is the input resistance at the input of your transistor excluding all your sources so we have here vs and rs we have an ac voltage which is having an impedance rs right so you should not consider that so i removing that ac voltage source whatever is available at the base of a transistor is going to be vi and the input current is ib so it is ratio of vi and ib and for finding vi apply kvl at the base so to the algebraic sum of voltages in a circuit will be equal to zero so total voltage vi will be splitting across the resistance hie and re what is the current through hie ib what is the current through re 1 plus hfe into ib so take ib as common so you get hie plus 1 plus hfe into re into ib divided by ib ib and ib will get cancelled so ri equal to hie plus 1 plus hfe into re so uh, if re equal to 0 what will happen to ri if re equal to 0 what will happen to ri what will be the expression? HIE, HIE. So, because of RE, what can you comment about RI? Because of adding RE, what can you comment about RI? It is increasing or decreasing? When you add RE to your circuit, RI will increase or decrease? See, if there is no RE, we have found that it is equal to HIE. When RE equal to 0, you find that RI equal to HIE. And when I put RE, whether it is going to increase my input resistance or it is going to decrease my input resistance. It is obviously going to increase my input resistance, right? Because plus sign is there. 1 plus HFE is a very large number. RE is also a large resistance. So RI will be increased. One advantage you have because of adding this emitter resistance RE is it will increase the input resistance of your amplifier.